Dr. Sella here, and let me introduce you to the new triple threat, the dive, the crush, and the kick. Well, and I've said this for the last two years, but I don't have to say it. All you have to do is watch Army and Air Force, and even to some extent Navy play, and zone dive is the basis of the offense. They're going to wedge that defensive tackle, and they're going to move him one step beyond his God-given will to create a breakthrough in their program, and then everything gets set up from there. But here's what the new triple threat is in 2021. And you're going to watch Air Force on Monday do this to Louisville. They're going to establish the dive. Okay, so what's going to happen is on dive, you're going to basically, everybody's going to wedge on the guard. If the guard's covered, everybody's wedging on the guard. The backside scoops, backside receiver cuts off. The A back is going to come off the tackle. So if he's in the two hand slam, whoever it shows. So if number one, um, or in this case, there could be an easy stunt. Anybody enters, you know, the hip of the tackle, he's going to two hand slam him. Otherwise, he's going to end up on the second level. The receiver is going to block the nearest inside linebacker. Quarterback's going to take the snap, jump in the gap, point the ball. The B is going to sprint through the ball, sprint through the play side hip of the tackle, and sprint through the end zone. The quarterback carries out the fake, and he gets wide to pull the secondary with him as the A back runs the pitch. Now, what happens here is basically you're establishing the fact that you're going to move the defensive tackle. You're going to get four yards, and if you do, you don't have to call another play. Just line up, line up, and run it again. But let's say you don't get four yards on it, and let's say it's let's say number one took the quarterback. Okay, now it's time to run the crush. There's two ways to handle this, and Crush is one of the two ways. And Air Force started running Crush, and now after they started running Crush, Army started running Crush, and then I saw later in the year even Navy was running Crush. Now they're all going to say they invented it, but Air Force was the first one to do it. I watch every play of every game, guys. Okay, I'm just telling you right now, Air Force was the first one to do this. So what Crush is is everybody does the same thing, but the receiver's going to crush number one, and the A-back now is wedging with the, with the receiver. So theoretically, the, a, the receiver went, now wedges with the tackle, and the A-back wedges with the receiver. So he's going to block down. Now here's the key, guys, and this is why I drew this versus a bare stack defense, because you got number one and number two here. Yeah, you can make this guy number two, but that's kind of silly because he's the corner. But, so you want this guy on the mic. So he's going to end up on the mic. You're not going to you're going to leave that guy unblocked. You're going to go, why do we leave him unblocked? Uh, here's why, baby. Because what's going to happen is he blocks down on him, and then he blocks the mic. You hand the ball to the B-back, who sprints through the ball, sprints through the place that leg of the receiver, sprints through the end zone. If this guy is not playing the quarterback or the pitch, and he tackles the dive, the quarterback is going to pull the ball, and he's going to go around the corner and score. The A-back runs the pitch, but on crush, gentlemen, on crush, he's going to run the pitch and he's going to stop the corner. Army's been doing this. Now, they were the first one to do this, um, but they did it within the zone dive realm. Long explanation. But he runs the pitch, stops the corner so that if number two actually takes the dive, which really never happens in college, but in high school, yeah, I bet it'll happen. I know it happened. I had a client that happened to this year. He pulls the ball, goes around, and they run out of people. Because, I mean, if you put 10 people on the dive or 9 people on the dive, yeah, you're screwed. Well, that's the benefit of crush, but it's the B-back's ball. If number two takes the B-back, he pulls it and goes. The A-back runs the pitch, locks the corner, and the quarterback gets around that block. So that's your answer. If you don't get four yards on dive... And number one is the quarterback player. You load him, and you go from there. Kind of stupid if number one's a quarterback player and number two's taking the dive. I mean, if it's an easy stunt to it, it's one thing, but high school is just so guys aren't convoluted. That's why you're going to get people in 22 with the crush concept. Now, if you ran dive and you don't get four yards and number one's the quarterback player, then you got two options. You can run the crush, but you also run the kick. Now, here's the beauty of running the kick when you pair it with crush. 
all the blocking is the same as Crush. Everybody from the receiver to the receiver, the A back, even the backside A, all do the same thing. So he's down, he wedges with the guard, the guard wedge, the guard is the post player, the center wedges with the guard, backside guard scoops through the center, backside tackle scoops through the backside guard, backside receiver cuts off, backside A runs the pitch and stocks the corner. A back is going to wedge with the receiver, stays off number two because he's going to deliver him to the B back, and then he's going to wall off the mic. If the mic blitz, by the way, he'd end up going to the safety. But here's the beauty of it. <laughs> so now the B back, instead of being the ball carrier, is going to run to the same spot. He's going to turn up and he's going to kick number two. So he's going to kick number two. Now, if he can get his left knee through his crotch, it's even better because then the quarterback goes around that and they're screwed. If he forces it like he should, the B-back will put his helmet to the left, right for him, throw him, trap him, drive him out of bounds. And then the quarterback runs in between the block and at the hole and out of the hole. So here's the beauty of it. If he's able to log number two and the corner folds inside, <laughs> the A-back is going to be able to get his left knee through the crotch of the corner, and then the quarterback can bounce it, and they run out of people. So that's what happens. That's why these high school hairy defenses, these pizza-eating, cake-eating defenses in high school, they have to play assignment football. You're going to force these sons of guns to play assignment football. So what happens is, B-back kicks number two, A-back runs the pitch, and he logs the corner, and then the quarterback takes off off the play side hip of the receiver. So, the new triple threat, dive, crush, kick. And if you're looking to do this the right way the first time, give me a call.